Strider on the beat. Hey, hey, everyone. It is me, Tashala Josefa with GFM and Exposed. We are in North London. I'm actually really enjoying the fact that these last few interviews have been in the area. You know, it took me eight minutes again to get here very quick. It means I can get home even quicker. We've got a very special guest with us today. I'm going to let him introduce himself because I know it will be a very, very epic introduction. How you doing? I'm good. <laughs> it's nice to meet me. Um, the pleasure is yours. My name is Guadalajara 4000, aka Shia LaBus Down. The Platinum Prince of Persia, the Don Perignon, Durag Daddy. Yeah. How, how many? How many names was that? Uh, I mean, what you want me to keep going? The Ferragamo yeah. Falcon, uh, the Fendi Finesse of all that is fraudulent and flanky. I mean, I think I need to to, to change up. Man. Thank you for having this interview with me. Just let the UK know a little bit about yourself. Who are you? Why have you brought yourself to London? I am a falcon, but also a viper, who happens to be really good at producing, rapping, and songwriting. And a lot of people think I'm funny, even though I be dead ass serious. Um, and I'm on tour with Denzel Curry. We're playing tonight at the Round House. It's 3,000 tickets sold out in London. That shit is tight. It's amazing. It's a blessing. London's tight. Um, the Chinese food is good. English food, like uh, traditional like English food is nasty, though. Oh, 100%. I don't like it. Y'all put beans on toast and shit out here. That's fucking disgusting. No, no, no. That's, that's nice. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> there's no way we're, we're... There's no middle ground on this. I watched a girl put butter on toast and then beans on top of that and uh i've never been more sick to my stomach that's ghetto i mean i have beans on toast i also put butter on the toast sometimes i put ketchup on top so <coughs> i mean <laughs> i guess <laughs> Be like the classy people, and like y'all supposed to be way more proper than us. I mean, I use you cutlery on butter toast and baked beans. Yeah, no, 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 oh, of course not. It's horrible, okay, okay. hideous. I was joking. Ha! I thought, I thought you were serious. <laughs> what the hell? I really wasn't. I was joking. I was joking. Okay. Did you just really just swig it? Like, I can't drink alcohol from the bottle like that. I actually want to know how. Oh, baby, I'm an alcoholic. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So you have a song with Charts Rapper and Charlie Brown. How did that. <laughs> just said Brown. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very excited. Yeah, it's me, Charlie, Charlie Wilson. Brown. <laughs> Charlie Wilson, don't be Guys, I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm a bit intoxicated, but it's okay. We move. But no, you have a song with Chance the Rapper and Charlie Wilson. Now, as a younger generation, how did that come about? Because I know not a lot of people will know who he is. Mm -hmm. So how did you decide? How did that all come about? I got familiar with Charlie Wilson, like, as an entity through Kanye West and all his work okay. with him. Um, it was like a dream. I've always been a fan of when he go, when he says ooh wee, it's beautiful, it's iconic, it's like a uh, like an angel. That's what. Soon as you like go to heaven and then uh, Saint Peter at the gate, be like, all right, nigga, you can fuck with us. And then the gates open, all you hear is ooh wee, and then like that's when you get your wings and shit. It's Charlie Wilson that that gives you your wings. Mm -hmm. Even though he's not dead, he's still in heaven. Giving people their wings. Charlie Wilson is everywhere. Yeah. Charlie Wilson is all, it's also an evil version of Charlie Wilson in hell. And then soon, when you get tortured, he'd be like, oh, we. <laughs> 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 I was asking the producers who produced that song, Stereotypes, like about ad libs, because uh, we were talking about Ty Dallas sign. Charlie Wilson got brought up, and I was like, That'd be crazy if Uncle Charlie could, you know, like, really? You fuck with Uncle Charlie? I'm like, yeah, he's like, Ray from the Sheraton. I was like, I, I can get you, Charlie Wilson. And I was like, do it. Then I got a text from my manager, like, yeah, session with Charlie Wilson on Wednesday. And I was like, what the fuck? 
and we met, and Charlie Wilson is basically, I'm, that Hennessy just hit my stomach. He was like, <laughs> he was basically just an older version of me. Really? Super tight. Obviously a genius, super handsome, great skin, great hair. Oh, I'm talking about myself, my bad. Uh, <laughs> no, he's a legend. He's a legend. It's, it's nothing that I can do or say that it, that could add to that myth. I'm just honored uh, to have given him the opportunity to work with me. Uh, I've seen on your Instagram, you had a video, <laughs> and you gave birth to a bottle of Henny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what, what made you decide, you know, to give birth to a bottle of Henny? Yeah. A lot of people are having babies, mm. and I got baby fever, but I, I don't want to have babies. Oh, okay. So I figured I might as well just adopt a bottle of Hennessy and take care of him and nurture him. And then it got weird because now I'm, I'm drinking uh, a bottle, so it's like I ingested my kids back into me and we became one. So now we're on some scary movie shit. It's creepy now. It's weird. We getting weird in London. Is that, that's not the bottle that you've adopted, though, is it? No. Uh-huh. Okay. It's so a lookalike. Where's the one that you adopted? He's no longer with us. I was really hoping you didn't bring that up. Can we just have a moment of silence for young Henny? <sighs> Thank you. Thank you for that. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so on to a little more uplifting, exciting things. <laughs> You've got a show tonight, you said, yeah. and how excited are you? What are you expecting from that show tonight? I'm fucking juiced. It's 3,000 people sold out. I'm with Denzel Curry, a rock star. We're going to make mosh pits. I'm going to sing ballads. We're going to go from smooth to turned up to smooth to rock. It's definitely a roller coaster of music. Very eclectic, uh, very high energy either way. Uh, and it's tight to be on tour with somebody like that. Because honestly, for in general our our vibe is like polar opposites i don't make the same type of music denzel curry makes but we're both such amazing entertainers the show's so live it's just it's great to be on the road with like a legend denzel's a legend so um that's just where my head is at speaking of positivity i'm just in a real happy space i'm in london i'm from oakland i don't i don't know if y'all know about oakland but it's the mud I'm from the ghetto, so it's tight to be out here and experience this and hear y'all skip the T's in the middle of words. Why does everyone say that? Yeah, say little. Little. You said the T on purpose, though. I actually pronounce it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. See, nah, uh You just, yeah, look, you did, ah, you did it right there. See, I, man, get this mic, you fake. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Is it cold over here then? How you finding the weather? I'm from California. It's permanent summertime over there. So this shit is not fun. To go outside and feel that breeze on my ears. My ears be hella mad at the rest of my face. <laughs> yeah, that shit is not tight. But it's, I, it's part of traveling. It's part of experiencing new things. Did you have to buy a jacket to come over here? First of all, baby, I don't buy nothing. Oh. Yeah, people got to give me stuff. I like it. Somebody gives you this. Uh-huh. Just for this occasion. This whole outfit. Lovely. I'm really liking it. And I'm loving the orange. Thank you. I, when you came in, I was like, mm, she knows. Orange looks really good on black skin. I know. People yeah. don't understand that. Mm-hmm. The more the more melanin you got, the more orange mm-hmm. and yellow that you should do. Yeah. Especially black women when they wear yellow dresses, I love it. It seems so unreal sometimes. I just like black people to be tight. You definitely are. So let everybody in the UK know where they can find you. Where mm-hmm. can they find your music? I'm at guapdad 4000 on everything, all socials. Um, YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Pornhub, LinkedIn, MySpace, LimeWire, everything. 
I was today years old when I realised LimeWire was toxic. It's been amazing. Thank you so much for having this interview with us. It's been great. I've been to Charlotte JC for this is GFM and Exposed and we out.